Deep in the heart of the ship named Golden Bear, it is hot and the engines are noisy. This is where Vasily Tudoran spends much of his time doing what he loves. I knew I wanted to fix stuff since I was a little kid. Tudoran is a mechanical engineering student at the California Maritime Academy. Even though the university is located just outside of San Francisco, most of the students are required to get hands-on experience on board this training vessel. On this two-month trip, 288 cadets traveled more than 15,000 kilometers south to the Panama Canal and visited countries in Central America and the Caribbean. When we get out of school, you are basically guaranteed a job. Robert Jackson is one of Tudoran's teachers. I would say the majority of our students have between one to two job offers before they graduate. Most of those job offers are between 60 and 120,000. Our students have such a broad knowledge, they can go anywhere. Jackson says in addition to working on ships, engineering students also get jobs with power plants and satellite companies. Away from the ship's engines, students majoring in marine transportation learn how to run a ship. Faculty member Bill Schmidt says in the past, marine transportation graduates would have had several job offers. With the economic downturn, it's not quite as wide open as it was, but um, it's, it's recovering now. I think probably the vast majority of our graduates are employed in the industry if they want to be now. Even with a 94 percent job placement rate, the academy only has about 900 students. The reason, says marine transportation student Andrew DiTucci, is because life at the academy requires discipline. The school, it's not like your normal college experience would be. We, we're a part military school, we have uniforms, we have formations. Just disciplining yourself to show up and keep grooming standards and be where you need to be and sit down, buckle your belt and study. Not only do the students carry heavy responsibilities on the ship, instructors say the coursework is also rigorous. You know, ship's officers are kind of like your surgeon or your airplane pilot. You don't want them to be right only 70 percent of the time. We pretty much have to be right all the time. So it's, it's, uh, that's a hard thing to teach young people that there's zero tolerance for mistakes. But Datucci says there are rewards to life at sea. My favorite thing about it is waking up every morning and seeing nothing but the ocean on all sides of you. It's, I get a thrill out of that. Feeling that thrill and eventually getting paid for it is what motivates many of these students to take on such a demanding course of study. Elizabeth Lee for VOA News, Los Angeles.